Salmon farming in Shetland is a profitable business. But industrial fish farming has always brought with it a host of health issues. Disease is a constant menace, and stock losses are not uncommon. Don Staniford campaigns against salmon farms. He believes the industry is in a mess. We're seeing mass mortalities each year. That's symptomatic of an unhealthy industry. This year, production figures are predicted to fall. It doesn't surprise Dawn, who's long been concerned about welfare standards on our salmon farms. We've unearthed some truly horrifying, shocking images of uh, lice-infested fish, uh, farm salmon with deformities. Earlier this year, through a Freedom of Information request, Dawn obtained these images from the Scottish Fish Health Inspectorate, taken between 2014 and 2016. They show the impacts of a major problem for salmon farmers, sea lice. These parasites graze on the fish's scales, leaving them vulnerable to infection and, in severe cases, death. Amoebic gill disease has also been a problem. The disease destroys the fish's respiratory system and is very hard to treat. It seems only to affect fish farms. These health issues could be one of the reasons why production figures were down for 2015 and 2016. The difference between what the industry says is happening and how great and healthy Scottish salmon is, uh, the reality is, is completely different. I think the more you study a subject, and salmon farming is a subject I've studied for 20 years as a, as a scientist, as an academic, and then as a campaigner, the more you realise that it's an industry that's running on empty, it's an industry that deserves and warrants public investigation. Salmon farmers are 